Welcome to the channel everybody. Break Pass series with a bit of a twist. We are today at Headfort Golf Club. We're on the new course, which is the championship course, which is gonna be hosting the Irish Challenge, Challenge Tour event here in Ireland. We're about an hour away from the K Club. This golf course is one of the best that they've got over here in Ireland and looking forward to sharing it with you. And Lee has joined us. Lee is over here helping me do some filming and um, we were possibly going to be looking at having a Challenge Tour player play. However, we haven't. So you got me. But now Lee is going to make his debut on the Challenge Tour. Yeah. How do you feel it's, about that? Life's a challenge. Life challenge is a challenge. With Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do break par, but we're going to do it slightly different today. And what I mean by that is that I have the shot scope watch on, the X5, mm -hmm. and instead of us going at pins, the objective we're today. Well known for hitting pins. All yeah, the yeah, time. we're pin seekers. The objective today is to go middle of the green. So purely from whatever the middle of the green yardage is, we don't go at the pins. No. We go purely for the middle of the green, and we see how well we do. My gut feeling is if we play half decent, we should actually score probably a little bit better than we expect. Yep. Because middle of the green, you're never that actually that far away from the flag, and hopefully the greens here aren't too big. So, Dan, caveat for you, because it's your break par. Yeah. Par around here is 72. Okay. Hard course. Yeah. Slope rated at 74. Okay. So you're going to have to shoot 72 on a pretty tough course, yeah. which would normally be two shots over what would be a normal handicap. Right. So it's, gonna be, it's not going to be easy. No, it's not going to be easy at all. And we're going to go off the white tees. They've got a back back tee, which is probably where the Challenge Tour event will be, but they're protecting it because we're not far away from the event. So on that note, so we go. Let's get going. Right, first hole then, 386 yards to the middle of that green. Little dog leg round from right to left. Yep. We got a little bit of tree trouble already off the tee because there's a tree right in the way of that dog leg. Yeah, but we don't know where that is, but the bunker's 245 to carry, the tree's 315, so there's no real danger. We just don't know where that tree is when it comes to the next shot. Could I be a, it's on the left side. Could, could be a be bit of a blocker. Yeah, it could be. Oh, he just, he loves the first tee. Hello, Lee, that hello. is absolutely spot on, <laughs> sir. Okay, I like that line, Lee. I think that was a great line you had there. Let's see what swing we've got today. Ooh, oh. What happened there? Just lean into it a little bit. Do you know what, though? I think it's oh, fine enough back, chasing. but it's not going to be too much of an issue that, that, could, tree. that could be short enough that it's, the tree's not a problem <laughs> getting old just before we actually get going um, we're over here with the challenge tour as I said in the intro talking about the challenge tour event being here and to come and watch this event is is free of charge there's no there's no pay for this event so if you're interested in coming along uh, if you live in Ireland or you want to come over and watch some of the best players in the world play, then just down in the description of this video, there'll be a link where you can go register and grab your tickets. You'll have a great day out. So we get down here, Dan, and actually I think you're probably going to be in a better position than I am. Well, I've got 181 yards, so ideally you try and take it, take off the corner a little bit. 180, 181 to the middle. Again, not even going to look at that flag today. Just I'm in the middle of the green, ignoring the flag. Five out. Just going Four left out. side. That flies. Oh, it's perfect. Well, it, and this is the thing, you see. Like, obviously, I was aiming five yards right of the actual flag, and because I've pulled it, I've managed to hit the green. If I was going at the flag, I'd have been off left, short-sided. Genius move. I think this is this could be the new you. We're not that good to be shooting at flags all day, are we? I feel like you're a, you're okay. Well, that tree, I was, that tree that you were that we chirping thought we'd about. Gone past. Yeah, actually, I thought the tree was over this side. On this fair. side and in the way. One thirty-four to the middle of that green. Okay, like a wedge is one thirty, but I think I need to hit this really hard because if I'm going for the middle of the green, yeah, then I need to get over that tree. Yeah, you've gone underneath the... Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's fine. 
it was a tough, catchy, it was actually a tough lie because it was yeah. so below your feet you caught it a bit thin yeah. which then came out a little bit flatter this is where i was kind of aiming right here middle of the green would have got me here because i've missed it that far left of the flag like i've pulled it a long way left i've actually kept it on the green if i was aiming at the flag here i'd have been down down there somewhere first thoughts is that the, the play of middle of the green game is yeah, yeah. probably working out all right so far for me. I was aiming middle, maybe just left at middle yeah. because of the tree and slightly pushed it because of the lie and I'm still, still all right. agreeing. This is a big swing from right to left. Yeah, it's so going to go up here and then it's going to kind of flatten out a little bit when it gets to the hole. Keep going, keep going up the hill, keep going up the hill. No. Scared you, didn't it? Yeah. I just thought if once it gets up here, I'd it's gonna get it'd going. speed up, but it wasn't yeah. as quick as I thought it would be. So Dan's got to come up a hill here, and then it's gonna break from his left to the pin. And like, I mean, the greens are pure, but it's uh, it wasn't as quick as I expected it to be. So it's gonna be a good two putt, I think. Good pace. Good pace, good part. Yeah, fantastic part. Just move right there. I'm in. He's in. I'm in. I can't mind. Wish I was in. Up the hill, a little out of his right. Because there's been a bit of rain, they are a little bit softer. Yeah. And therefore they're a little bit kind of juicy. Getting them ready for the big event. I kind of want this a bit closer for part, don't Yeah, it's always nice to have that. Move. That was a good effort, that Lee. Good move. Good effort. Okay, so Solid three pot. five and a four. Second hole, then. This is a beautiful hole, fantastic hole. It's actually a par five for us today, but in the tournament, they're going to be playing it as a par four. Got water down the right, and then it pinches in with the trees on the left. A really dangerous hole. Just getting into position off the tee is key. The problem you've got is that water really kicks in. It's 280 to carry it, that's my issue, so I'm going to be in trouble if I go with driver, so... This feels a bit negative. But I'm going to go with 5-wood. Just try and just position it, and then have a rip to the green. Great strike. Right down the centre. just hit a club that I knew I couldn't quite get there to it. Hybrid, like you say, negative but hopefully safe. That is a great shot Lee. It's been swinging it really nicely. And that's a perfect right. ball. It's swinging it good mate. I'm not you trying know. to whack it. Well today's not about that, it's middle uh, of the greens. It's when it goes wrong is when I try and whack everything. Yeah, let's, let's have a new Lee, shall we? <laughs> What have you got done? I've got 263 yards to the middle of that green. There's a bunker down there at 250, what looks like just left of the green. This looks like a narrow little entrance. Yeah, actually. it's quite tight, isn't it? Um, There's a bailout right. There is a bailout right. But um, that pin's tucked left, but we're not looking at that. We're looking at the middle of the green, aren't we again? So 263 is where I need to be. You got that in you? It's downwind, so if I get one with this three wood, I can get... Probably get front edge, maybe. Winds out the right. Got it. That chase is, that could be brilliant. Oh, it's coming round to the pin. Go down. Set, 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 set. It's over the back. Tell you what, though. What a, what a little runner. Just landed about 2.30 and finished at about 2.90. <laughs> Lee Whitaker's ball is 257, it's probably 255 by the time I get back to his ball. 256. Okay, so I'm going to hit three wood. I'm going to try and hit it a little bit higher. And three wood I'm going higher for Lee. Try and make it a little, land a bit softer. Well, it's still, it's still a big one of these, but new Lee, not smashing everything. Well, that is high. Yeah, I just left the face a little bit too open. It's a good, it's the right miss though, isn't it? Maybe. We we'll hope so. <laughs> I just think left is dead. Yeah, yeah. 
I think that was like the bait, that was my subconscious going, yeah, no. no. Do not hook. <laughs> Here he is, look, Tree Lee. Yes, yeah, your moment, isn't it? Tree Lee is back. <laughs> uh, okay, so he's got himself into a little bit of... There's a pickle here. Pickle. So I need, I've got a nine, so I need to carry most of this, keep it under that branch, but have enough forward momentum to go onto the green. Yeah, you, you've not got, to be honest with you, Lee, what you've got to be really careful of is... Going too long. Yeah, over the back of that pin is it could run into the trouble. Yeah. So you've just got to be careful that you don't get too excited with it. Right. Okay, that's disappointing, isn't it? Should have laid up. <laughs> Should have laid up, yeah. Well, you couldn't lay up. There's a little stream in the middle of this fairway, so... More loft now? Yeah, I've got 60 now. Okay, get it on the green and let it release to the hole. Oh, I do like that. Sit down, that doesn't need much more. Sit down. Oh. Okay, well, I, you'll be putting from there, so you'll be okay. <laughs> so Dan was three foot from disaster. Dangerous hole, isn't it? Yeah. That's a par four for these boys. Okay, I've got my lobber. So he come in, come, runs downhill to the hole. Yeah, you've got, you got to land it on top of this ridge and then let it just feed down there. That's good. That's on. Oh, lovely shot. Little tapping birdie. What a start. Yeah. Kind of hot out of the blocks. On <laughs> huh? You're pointing for a birdie to go one under, and I'm pointing for a bogey. I don't feel like I deserve it. <laughs> no. Very good. Great okay, birdie. Middle of the greens. Middle of the greens. It's going to be slow up that hill. Yeah, it is, I'm afraid. But regroup is what you got to do. Steady, 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 steady. Oh, wow. oh, it's moved on you, it's moved on you. Okay, that's a seven out of nowhere, as they say. Unfortunately, we move on. Dangerous third hole, 341 yards to the middle of that green today. Water down the left hand side and all the way at the front of the green as well with a, with a bunker right in front of you up by the green. Positioning off the tee important, I think. Challenge tour down, one under through two. I wonder where I'd be on the leaderboard, you know? Well, if you were first out, first. Yeah, well, uh, first <laughs> route might have made a birdie on the first. <laughs> um, okay, I've got five, but it's slightly into the wind. I just, it's 2.58 to run out, and if I, if I button a three, wouldn't get a bit of run like I did on that previous hole. I'll be in there, so I'm going to lay up five wood, that sort of colory bush down there. It's another great strike. Uh, Popped up a bit. In this wind, I've got any more out like that. Yeah. Right on that colory bush you were looking oh, at. Is that on it? Yep. Point Dead on shoot. it. Point and shoot. Lee with hybrid. Hybrid again. Yeah. Same as me on yeah. that, uh, that colory yellowy, colory, colory yellowy yellow tree. Bush. Love that. Probably a bit high and spinny, sadly. It's fine though. It's coming actually coming backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Drop and stop technology and, yeah. by Wilson. It's, it's magic. The ball of Lee Whitaker. 179. Probably about 178, 177 from where you are, right into the middle of that green. Whereas actually, to be fair, the flag is in the middle of that green maybe i would say we need to go slightly left of that flag we'll to be perfect middles. no no middle of the green yeah, is, yeah. is actually just a smidgen left of the flag so it's actually a it's probably a five wood for me a five iron but yep. i'm gonna wait four because it's into cause it's into i'm not convinced it'll carry it but if i no? the next up from that is a hybrid and if i just if you I do what you did then that shot it's brilliant but if i don't i'm over the back but then do i want to be short I'm in a hybrid. Ah! So that's, that's a, that could be a splasher. I think it's a splasher. I didn't zoom, so it could be a splasher. <laughs> right, centre of the green is pretty much just left of the flag. 134. Wind's in to out the right. I've got eight iron. Yep. 
Turn on the green. Pull it a little bit. But it's the right. It's the right spanner. It is the right spanner. The yardage. Well done, Daniel. This was the part. This is a beautiful hole. Wow. Stunning golf hole. We've planted a seed in there, so it yep. shows a little lily out. A little, little lily seed. Lily. All right, 50 yards, 60 degree. Yeah. Try and be attacking if I can. Very good, Lee. Thank you. Very good shot. Played the number, played the yard. It's well done, you. Thank you. Oh, an outside birdie chance, Dan. Yeah. Okay, I got it a little out the left. If we just do that, I'm down this hill. It's one of those that you didn't really want to start chasing down there, you know. I think you had it if you had the pace. Yeah, it was right in the right in the jaws. That you're tapping that little par pot of yours. Dangerous hole out of the way. That is. It's making it look easy. Down the hill. Are you seeing anything out of your right there, Lee, our left? Slightly out of my right. Yeah, it's got a, it's got, it looked like, based on mine coming down the hill, it looks like it wants to just fall in off that side. Not too much. Stay. Pace. Oh, Didn't want to race it, but there. pace. Solid double. Dubler. I'm playing break 90. Dubler. It's a new series. You're right. Yeah, just, like some, sometimes you get a double. Well, like, I went in the water, but sometimes you, you're five over after three and you think you played awful and you better walk in. I think I bet the ball all right. You bet the ball all right. <laughs> I was just saying, like, as we were wandering off that green there, like, it's just hit. One like one bad putt on the first, one bad duffy chip on the second, and then a, a swing. A, 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 I think it was a choice, a club off. choice, which led to led to double double and a, and a bogey. So so easily done, so easily done. But that's golf. Golf. Golf is hard. Tough. First thing Lee spotted as we uh, came up onto this. Uh, Around the corner and up to this tee. Wow, what a par three we have got here. From this tee box, 151 yards all over water. It looks like a bit of an island green out there. Oh, stunning. Middle of the green, which is basically right on that flag. Left side. Pulled it a little bit. Grab a piece. Ooh. Pulled it a little clean. Which came up for fraction short. You're gonna stick with your eight? Yeah. I don't wanna hit it a fraction clean and come off a little short. <laughs> At the end of the day it's one four six, it's one seventy to go over the back of the green. Yeah. So uh, you know, looking at what's happened to mine, I don't think that's too bad. Oh, I love that. Be the number though. It's leaking right. How's that not got That's got there, isn't it? No. Yeah, I think it's over the ridge there. It's on the it's pin eye right, I think. It's not it's not short. Definitely not short. Ball located. Just. Well, I, I think you've had a little there. bounce. A little kick and a bounce and around the like a like a pond lip out we've had. Oh what club have you again. got? So he's got he's actually got quite a bit of green to work with. Well downhill to the hole, so but it's not that quick, so I think it'll just land it on the top and should release down. It's rolling. Oh, it's a massive, massive slope there. Didn't spot that. All right, Dan, running away from the swans. Oh, not a big swan. I like, I love swans. I think they're beautiful, but they, they, they can be a bit feisty, can't they? Uh, normally when they got young, they're a bit protective. He looks all right. You got a big club in your hand. Yeah, but I don't want to club it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand this side though. Yeah, we'll just keep an eye out, all right? So yeah. They start charging, and I'm going to watch this. Oh. He's no, he's just right, he's, he's fine. Chilling. He's chilled. He's chilling. Out the left, Lee. 
Yeah, massive pot there. Go in. Not bad from there, Dan. Started a little right of where I wanted it, but it held up. Those swans just make this hole even more beautiful, don't they? Oh, my golf doesn't. <laughs> Something's got to. But this hole's a fantastic golf, golf hole. Yeah, like, there's just water everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Card racker, as they say. I think all four have been a card racker for me so far. Right, let's see if we can get up and down for our par, really. Come on. Off the left. Steady the ship, yeah. Get right. Yeah, it kind of. A bit like mine, it just kind of flattens out a little bit there. That's good, take that away. So you're in for bogey. Solid. Break 90 is still questionable. Still on. Still, on. still questionable. <laughs> Need two pars to make break 90 possible. Don't think it's outside the hole, put it that way. No, I wouldn't give the hole away. Solid. Well done, great two pot that from where you were. One under. The swan hole. One under, six over. What a treat that people are having. Hole five, par four, 383 meters. For us English, that means? Uh, 419 we got from here. 419, so driver for Dan. I like it, and that, that far bunker up the left. Just let it peel a bit right on that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, it's gone around the corner over that tree. I won't chase it because the shot tracer will have it. Okay? I mean, it's probably okay there, but. It's just a lot of slice. It's a lot of face open. Why right, it's not normally your miss? Do you think so? I think your miss is more hooky than, or starting left. It depends what I'm trying to do. So I can, like that was just an overcut. It's just when I'm trying to hit a little fade, it's just an overcut. Yeah. Turns into a slice. Starts pretty much where I want it. Overcuts. Alright. Driver on that bunker. Try and fade it into the middle. Grab That's a seat, fine. please. Grab a seat. Okay there? No idea. Can't see it at all. I'm sure it'd be fine, but didn't see it down. That's my miss. Oh. Straight left. It's just this. We're, we are two. Of the opposite ends of the golf course, yeah. <laughs> there is a par three between us. Well, I don't. I think you've hit this tree. Because it it's just like I. I couldn't see it on the viewfinder. Two four seven. You've got two four five to the middle of that green hybrid. Yeah, I'm not getting there. Just got to try and stop compounding the errors. This is this is where the mental game of golf takes over for me. Like I start panicking. Panicking. Yeah, yeah. bit left Lee. I'm not going to see that down. I mean it's just gone straight over this tree. I don't know where that's yeah, ended up. But I mean it's, it can't be in too much trouble because it, it can't get there so yeah, no, it, should it, should be, be it should be okay. Dan's here found a little bit of tree. He's got 160 in but I've got a new yellow splodge on my ball. He's got to get this up it. quickly really. I've got a seven iron. I've kind of got to go a bit right and try and draw it a bit if I can. I'm just going to zoom just in case, but I've got no idea. No, I, think I didn't catch it down, it focused on the leaves. Back. It's a good shot from there though. It's just got a little hop and then it might have just nipped over the back. I saw it bouncing, so... You take it. Oh yeah, 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 I'm back in position. Dan's ball located, did go long. It is uh, there, there it is, I can't see it. So it's got to pop it up over this ridge and then it's all downhill to the pin. But it's got to carry it quite a long way because it's sort of here-ish. It's still pretty lush, so it's not an easy shot. Problem I, I don't know how, I think it's going to come out a bit hot. So I want to kind of land it here. Get it, but on the same scale, I don't want to be, I don't want to be chipping again. I need to almost like feel like I need to take a bogey and get away, you know? No, no, positive attitude, come on. 
Not like that. Settle down a bit. Oh. I'll take it, got a decent par pot. Oh wow, have you spotted that behind you? Sorry? Seen that up in the hill there. What is that? Okay, you got there. Plenty of plenty yeah, of bat. Yeah. I think it's quite a bit downwind today. I mean mine's yeah, well, it's flying. Yeah, it's a cool pit, right? Yeah. The wind's well in your face. Come on then, up and down. So it's coming off the left. So I just want to, I've got a 60, so I want to carry it onto the green. Yeah. And then hopefully it'll just feed. Feed down to the right, hopefully. Spaniard. Up right there. Spaniardo. <laughs> Very good. Good par, mate. Get up and down that. In. Oh, Solid. Well we do done. exist. There you go. So settle the ships, settle your nerves. You got your car, well. <laughs> run away. See ya. So it's downwind, down, slightly like downhill, I think. Maybe a little out the right. Yeah. Right edge. Not far off it. Mine sort of, toward, well, as it slowed down, it just edged its way to the right, didn't it? Oh. It's actually quite a big swing on that. I'm not. I'm not great at downwind putts. Like I, I tend to dolly them a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, still, still level. Well, back to level. Shot, unfortunately, the tee shot is what set up the trouble there. Bad it's back to that one bad shot hole, isn't it? Yep. One bad shot. Par five, six hole. Five hundred and forty yards. What looks like a little, slight, subtle dogleg from left to right. Um, water a little bit further down there, but I don't think we're going to get to the water today. Uh, slightly into wind off the tee. Tough up here with this wind. Cracking drive, wind's just buffering it from right to left a little bit. Friendly bounce, Lee? Yeah, members bounce. Yeah, take that. I think that wind, I think you've got to favour the right side because the wind, I just kind of went it straight. Hit, it really hit yours. Yeah, I kind of went straight and then it, just wind took it. Not that right, Dan. That's gone through there. Really, I'm struggling with the old driver at the moment. Not a good day yesterday with it, really. I'm just struggling, but totally struggling with the shot shape. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to hit a draw there, and it's a just, block cut. Mm. And then when I try and hit the fade, I get that big old slice. So Dan has come into my natural habitat. But, just so you all feel good about it, mine's next to a tree as well. And Dan's got 319 yards in. A long way. Yeah, I've got the layup options on my watch here. I need to hit it 211 yards to um, leave me 100 yards. Obviously 170-ish to leave me 150. So if I can get it, if I can get something down there at like 2, 190, it leaves me like 120 in. Yeah. I've five, got to come out low anyway. Five so iron, I'm four iron? Five iron. Out of there. Let's see what happens. Try and hit a little cut out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I think you've got to, haven't you? He's running. Any good? Yeah. Stay away. You're so good at you're like you're so good at that shot, that opening up that five iron and things just to pop it up and fade it. Yeah. Like I noticed it with Alex yesterday. Like I just looked at it and think, like, wow. What to hit those shots? Yeah, like it, that that scares the life out of me opening up a club like that. Yeah, but again, like when we were kids, that's what we did. Like we would have competitions and play different types of shots with that sort of stuff. Like yeah. be groups of five or so, you know, Bernie would be in that group, Paul would be at, you know, we'd all be there hitting different types of shots, having comp competitions against each other, you know? Yeah. Just experience, I think. Good practice. Hmm. Well, he's got himself into a bit of bother, but 187, you need to hit it. If you can punch it down there, like 185 to 187 with a five iron, that leaves you 100 yards in, okay? okay. Don't make a bad choice after a, a tough shot. Get it back into position, give yourself a chance. This feels like a bit of a fadey shot to me. So I'm going to aim just down the left side. Yeah, not too too much left though. See, it's drawn on you. <laughs> um, 
Alright. Yeah, and the reason why it drew on your lee. And this is what you've got to be careful of is that when you stop there, your body stops. Yeah. Because you don't want to turn into the tree. So what happens there is you end up doing this. And then the, you flip the body stools, the hands flip over the ball once you draw on you. So it's one of those that you, you almost want to. Like you're not trying to hit a draw because you've got the water down the right, yeah, yeah. it's just not going to fade. You don't have to start it as far left as probably what you did, really. Just just my thoughts on it. Yeah, I always take your advice, Dan. 134. Flag looks to be dead in the middle as well. It's as if they knew we were playing this, this game. game. Yeah, 134. I think it's into, isn't it? Uh, it was off the tee, so it's got to be pretty into. You know I think it's the same club as what I hit into about the third hole, at eight point. That's all over it. Turn over. Turn over. It looked like it bounced long. Bounced on the green and then it disappeared, so unsure what's there. I'm hoping it's just gone over a little ridge. You are absolutely fine over here. Yeah. In the open. 105 yards, Lee. Well, 103. You're probably 100. 100 to 105 from there. But yeah, well, I mean, you've pulled it slightly. Let's sit down. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, I just, just tugged it a fraction. Yeah, when you said try and hold it a bit left, I was like, yeah, good idea. <laughs> good idea. Mine, I've just marked it. It's literally just over the edge of that ridge there. Lee's was pin high, pretty good. I thought it's going left to right. Uphill. Yep. It's just a good two part, isn't it? Travel, travel, travel. Yeah, it's good. I'll take it. That's Very right good. Yeah. In. Can we start from the sick? Can we start the vlog on part two? <laughs> we don't do parts, do we? <laughs> Again, this is a good two part because it's up the hill and it's coming back down the hill to the hole. Greens are a little slower because we've just had rain this morning. The pace. Right. Oh, oh, Daniel rammed it. It's so uphill that first part, and then you're right, it all falls down here, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a great pass, save. Fantastic. Well done. And in that arch, that really is down there. Yeah, but you know, the audience like drama. Got to have a bit of drama. So, level par and level par through the last two. The last two, what a <laughs> two pars. <laughs> okay, seventh hole, what a beautiful par three. Pin tucked in on the left hand side, but we are going middle of the green. We got 100 and. 70 yards to the middle, Lee. Six iron. Just feel like the wind is just a little bit maybe more out the right rather than hurting too much. Oh, come on. That's got a good swing on an iron. Never saw it. Where's oh, it going? Huh? Left side. Did it get pin eye? Yeah, and then bounced left. Okay, so it's you've... gone in. It's All either right. in that bush or behind it. Okay. Five iron in hand. That's just dead on it. Oh, that's left. That's the, did the wind push it at the end? That's probably the best strike of the day for me. That started right in the middle of the green and has drifted left of the flag. Yeah. But again, if I'd have started that at the flag, thinking oh, I'm going at the flag, I've missed the green left. Up and down then. Let's see it. I'm going to try and land it on the fringe and let it release to the pin, hopefully. Go, 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 go. Uh, I didn't quite carry it far enough. No, it was a good shot though. And Dan has hit it pin high. Just drifted on the wind. It's a lot of wind up there. I would have been the same fate as you if I'd have gone at the pin. Started mm. at the pin, you know? Flip through one, little out of the left. Yep, well, an outside birdie chance. Get yourself back under par. Oh, 
thought that was going to be rapid down there. Upper end. The part. It's got to be downhill from there. I can see it. It's massively downhill. Just never got going that putt. Right, Lee. Same, basically the same putt. My problem is I've seen yours slow. I don't want to run this 50 past me. Well, I, I thought I hit a good pace on it, but. That's good. Yes. Yes. I think my putt helped. Yeah. Definitely. Gave you the gave you the confidence. Give it a little bit more of a nudge. Just a, just a little nudge. Uh. There's only one word for the eighth hole. Tight. Tight. 383 yards. This hole looks like it sort of wraps around the right hand side. Just about positioning off the tee, and then I think there's a couple of bunkers up by the green. Haven't seen that far up yet, but it's just positioning off the tee. Three wood for me, and three wood for Lee. Not going to see that down around there, it's just around the corner. Okay, I've got that pine tree in the distance is what I like. Straight at that. That's so just deep. going over to the right. Can't zoom on that. Not as right as me though. It's on like the 150 marker. Oh, I thought that was going to just draw back on me and it just... Anything, it just fell right on the wind. He's now on his 10th life. With cat life number 10. What's after a cat? I don't know, but you found a gap. Yeah, it's chipping out. out. Yeah, back in the fairway. 169. I didn't want to leave myself about 170 in there. No. <laughs> Middle of the green, oh, which is pretty much where that flag is, I would say, today. Club in hand. Six. Six iron. That's a ripper. Be as good as you look. Right, the wind had pushed it at the end, didn't it? Is it, is it on the green? Yeah, it's cleared the bunker, so it's probably ah, just That's edge. fine then, well done. Good hit. Don's got himself in a little pickle. Like he can advance it forward, but I don't think he's getting to the green unless he pulls off something magical. 67 yards puts me to 100 yards. You can go low. The problem is, it won't run through there. No, for me, I think you've, you aim for that tree, you've opened up the green, haven't you? And you probably just have like a 60, 70 flick on. You know, your favourite yardage. I'm going to hit a wedge hard up in the air and get it over this tree. And then I should only have like a little flickety flick, flickety flickety flick. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm going to come this side, see if I can see it land. That's perfect. Yep, just caught the green. I've made it on the green over the bunker, so pin. Dan has 45 yards left in. Just come out right a bit. You won't be happy with that. Yep, he's doing another practice swing. Let's just come out right on him. Happy with that shot? No. <laughs> I just get trapped underneath and then I try and rotate with my body but what I should be doing is getting the club more I get it here and I drop there and then I try and save it I just need to feel like I'm there more like just a bit more on top of it it's so annoying and I do it every time unfortunately I can't rely on my, that part of my game so I've got to be a bit more accurate off the tee Lee with a putt for a par There's another rescue part massive out the left Oh, look at that little sh little hut over there. That'd be nice like little, a little, I'd oh. read that out as a little ute thing. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Right, off the left. Well, it's breaking downhill. Come on then. Not badly. Not bad. Okay. Dan could really do with this for a little part. Swinger. It's a swinger. Just out the right. Low. Couldn't hit that high enough. No. Top her in for a... A bogey. Deserved it off the tee. I'm afraid to say. That's one over for you and I've got this to be one over for the last three. Well done. <laughs> Four. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
like this is this will put me seven so this is to this is this is keeping the honor you're keeping the honor on the next tee oh yeah well done thank you we carry on plus one plus seven the ninth hole it feels like you're we're like island hopping we've got water off the tee and actually you can't see it from the tee but there's water at 266 yards off the tee uh, all uphill, a few bunkers up there as well. So again, positioning it just short of that sort of 260 mark. Lee is persisting with this three wood that he's not a big fan of. Oh my God, it's so high. That is high, that's out of the shot tracer high. Bounce. It's bouncing. You probably keep bounce. that keep that club out though. You'll need that Still again. It's a bit high, isn't it? That's probably oh, why. Is that, a, is, that a, is that a nasty mark you put on there? No, no. That's okay. You hit the middle of the face, it's just high in the face, isn't I it? I would like to see you sweep it a little bit more, rather than dig it out. Yeah. Three wood? Yeah. That's a great strike. Up you go then. Mm, saw it towards the bunker, but then didn't see it down. Saw it bounce and then it disappeared. Hopefully there's a ridge there and well, it's not in it. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for now you say that. Is that bunker possibly in play then? I don't know. The one up the right, I think the one up the left is the one in play. I've missed that. So we've been on the island bit. Yeah. We're driving across this, I mean, it's a fascinating bit of land. Um, an island within it all. And that's the bit we've just been in. So we're heading back towards the clubhouse now, obviously ninth, um, going across the bridge. But we'll be back on the island in, in a few mm -hmm. holes time, I think. 177 yards just win. over our little bridge we've just been over. Uh, five iron. Big hit. Plenty of height. Drifting back on you. It's pretty good shot, Lee. It's just a little bit. Pretty good shot indeed. Pushed. 116. What goes 116, Lee? Uh, you're 52. Or oh, is it a 50 now? Is it in to win? Slightly, yeah. I think that goes about 110. So I'm going to hit a wedge. Just pulled it slightly. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit. Sit. It's like hit from the top. Hit. Swing the club, Hendrix. Okay, chip and a putt. Yeah, I'm going to land it probably halfway onto the green. I'm going to let it release down. I think it's just going to land soft and... A little parachute is what you want it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, ran away from you there. Oh, keep, keep still yeah. going. There's a little bit of grain into me, so I need to keep the speed up with this. Here it comes. Swinging round. That's a great chip. Spanish hands, Hendrickson. You tap that in. Yeah, that was not an easy shot. Man. Well, I'm, around, I'm out for part one in one over, Lee. A little sigh, a little shake of the head, disappointment. He was, he was striping it in the net before we teed off. Absolutely ripping it. Best net player in the world, I am. It's for par. And to turn at seven. There it is. There it is. It's fireworks for the first part. We're going to go and get a quick drink and maybe a little chocky bar. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Seven over, one over, back nine is special. <laughs> 